Hello, Chastity family. Tonight is an away game at Marist at 7.30 p.m. The theme is superheroes, so please come and show your support for our Warrior Gold team. Attention all seniors, on October 16th, you will have the opportunity to tour one of four college campuses, UNG, Lanier Tech, Brown University, or Piedmont College. Field trip permission forms are due today. Don't miss out on this great opportunity. Financial Aid Scholarship Night is also Wednesday, October 16th from 6 to 8 p.m. at Early College. See the counselor's office for details if you would like to attend. Tomorrow is the annual Lake Lanier Tournament of Bands hosted here at CHS. Report time for morning workers will be 10 a.m. and we need everyone involved for this day. Students' assignments are listed in the band room. The schedule of performances is on the band website. The band will not have practices during fall break. Hi, my name is Manuel and this is your five-day forecast. Friday will be a high of 92 with a low of 68. Saturday will be a high of 91 with a low of 71. Sunday will be a high of 88 with a low of 69. Monday will be a high of 86 with a low of 70. And Tuesday will be a high of 86 with a low of 69. Have a good day. All right, I'm Sean and today I'm here with... Brenna. All right, Brenna, what are your plans for fall break? I'm gonna eat food all day, every day. Okay, I'm here with... Juliana. Okay, Juliana, what are your plans for this fall break? Uh, sleep, eat, I don't know. <laughs> here with... Brian Durant. All right, Brian, what are your plans for this fall break? Uh, I plan to work on my truck, you know, sleep in a little bit, relax. All right, today I'm here, here with... Edgar, what up? All right, Edgar, what are your plans for fall break? Making music. This is Hispanic Heritage Month. On Saturday, October 12th, the Chamber of Hispanic Affairs of Gainesville will host a downtown Latino festival from 1 to 9 p.m. This event is free and will feature music, dance, foods, crafts, children's activities, a parade, and much more. On October 19th, from 2 to 5 p.m., Piedmont College is hosting Dia de la Familia for Spanish-speaking families interested in college admission process, post-secondary readiness, and program opportunities at Piedmont. This event is free. For more information, contact Gabe Gutierrez at this link. The Latino Youth Leadership Conference will be November 2nd this year. Mark your calendars. For more information, see Ms. Diaz. The next forum in the Not My Family series to learn about the dangers of vaping will be held on October 10th from 6 to 8 p.m. at First Baptist Church. We will leave you with some memories from Homecoming Week. It's 2019 Homecoming Week. Today's Tropical Tuesday. <gasps> we should go around showing off people's tropical fits. We should. Okay, let's do that. Would you be willing to give us a fit check real quick? I don't really know. My mom just told me to wear this. My mom told me that my fit wasn't tropical enough. How do you feel about that? Disgraced. Disgraced, thank you. On a scale from one to 10, how much do you think your fit drips? Is that a question? 23. Okay, okay. I like that, I like that. Thank you. To explain your OOTD for your Tropical Tuesday. Okay, we got the, what's it called? Hawaiian shirt? Yeah, and it has sunflowers and cars. And then I got this, and we got a shell necklace. Do you think this fit drips? I mean, I think it does. Like. To me, it does, yes. On a scale from 1 to 10, how much would you rate it in drip? Um, probably like a 9.5. I think that's good. I had heard someone today say a 23, um, and all he had on was a Hawaiian shirt, so... So obviously your fit drips more, but we're not gonna put that in. This is my tropical dress that I've never worn to school before. I normally just wear it during the summertime. So I wore it today for tropical day. It's a very good summertime dress, you know, like bright yellow. Yeah, I normally don't wear a sweater with it in the summer, but we're at school. Yeah, understandable dress code. Thank you. Um, oh. I have a question real quick. Sure. So if since you, you said you don't normally wear the sweater, what do teachers get in trouble if they don't follow dress code? We do. What happens? Do you get ISS? Yes, we go straight to ISS all day long. You heard it here, students. Follow dress code, and you, and you won't get an ISS. Okay, thank you. I'm here with my very good twin. <laughs> What's your name? Ethan Thompson. Ethan Thompson. What grade are you in? I'm in the ninth grade. Okay, and obviously you can see that we are the best twins in the game. I mean, it's not a competition, but we won, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I don't see any other twins in this cafeteria right now, so competition's not tough, so. On a scale from one to 10, how how much drip do we have right now? Uh, 
A lot of mustard. A lot. a lot of mustard, yes. As you can see, we both have very good mustard on our hot dogs. So our toppings are a plentiful. All right, okay. Thank you, Ethan. You're welcome. Hello, everyone. I'm obviously Miss Kempner, and a fun fact about me is that I was in the military, and I was a spy, and that's why I learned German. So today I'm here with... Kit Walker. And what's a fun fact about you, Kit Walker? I lived in Guatemala and taught school there in three, for three years, and I also learned Spanish, and I also learned some quiche.